Uh, well, Thomas, uh, here we go, heading into a very busy schedule of uh, of games. Um, let's let's deal with the sort of the, the playing side of things. Have you been scratching your head, pondering, working out, come to a conclusion as to why, as a defence, you seem more vulnerable? Just after conceding a goal, because of this sort of spell of conceding goals quickly, has that been something that's been playing on your mind that you've been working on? Um, definitely something we've been uh, highlighting and speaking a lot about that. After conceding, we need to stay in the game. The next five minutes is extremely important, um, so stay switch on. Um, so it's something we are speaking about. Um, training on, you know, you know, how can you say? Uh, highlighting in, in, in training as well, if you play some small side games or some games. To be fair, when we are playing the, the small side games today, or not today, but in general the last couple of weeks, we are scoring less uh, because there's definitely more focus on, on defending uh, well enough. Um, but also sometimes, you know, sometimes it just come in spells, things like that. Um, so of course we've done a lot to uh, not concede quickly after the after after one goal uh, but I think if you see a bigger picture mm. let's see how many big chances we're giving away how many big chances did we gave uh, away against Hull for me two two and a half something like that and scored two goals so this moment um, it's a bit of of uh, quali quality and confidence um, all the small mistakes get turned into big mistakes we get punished so uh, so for me if we stick stick to working on it and then we'll get out of it. Mm. So how much of that is down to bad luck? How much of that is down ah, to luck. something you can work yeah, on? Yeah, there's, there's nothing like bad luck. It's, it, I would call it margin sometimes. Uh, and a lot of it is down to what you can work on, um, uh, technical, um, tactical, uh, and mental, mm. and that's what we're doing. Mm. So, so the mental strength is, is one side of it. Is that something, you, do you, is that a, a discussion rather than a, than a playing? Element is that something you have to sort of talk? Is that the psychology of sport more than the actual physical physiology? I think it's you know the mental. I think it's been a big thing in sport for the last at least ten years, and it is still growing. Um, the confidence side of it is always extremely big. Uh, we still have quality players. We still, if you see spells against Hull, we the first twelve minutes was extremely good. Um, was spells during first half, second half completely too slow. Uh, but you can see it's there, uh, so it's just about get that. Continue working on what we do. Yeah. Don't um, don't go away from that pathway. Not at all. Um, try to loosen and how can you say uh, release some energy uh, and some belief, and that's what we've been working on. Um, from a personal point of view, how, how important is this particular game against Bolton going into a busy? Period. How, how important is it for you to, to get something positive out of this game on Saturday? Yeah, I think you, when you haven't won enough games, the next one is always an opportunity and a big opportunity. And and home against uh, Bolton on Saturday, of course, is a big opportunity um, to get three points and get back on the, the winning track, get, getting in, going into a, a busy period. Um, so for me, it's a great opportunity. It has nothing to do with Bolton or uh, Leeds. Uh, but of course, there's a little bit different. In there's a reason why Leeds is on top of the table and, and Bolton is um, is struggling with us. Mm. Uh, so, but on the other hand, that just give another issue. That's mm. maybe not an open game. It's more a game where we will dominate and need to create. Mm. Have you been feeling extra pressure with this run, with this need to, to want to get a win? I, I think if you lose one game, okay. If you lose two games, okay. If you lose three games, okay. Then start. Okay, now we need to step up. Mm. Uh, so, so, so. For personal, not pressure from outside, for everything is just that you're so irritated that you're not winning. Uh, so that will always come from within myself um, in terms of that. Uh, and you need that win for all of us to, to have that extra component. With, from the player's point of view, how important therefore is it not to, to, to push it, not to, to be too anxious though, is to, mm. is to maintain their processes, is, it, is to, to maintain the way they go about doing things rather than maybe snatching at opportunities or, 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 or being anxious about you know, taking the first one that comes along? Mm. Mm. I think it's sometimes you, all of us, coaches, players, uh, press can overthink things um, and for me on Saturday and in general this week and the last couple of weeks been you know releasing energy 
uh, get it out there. You are quality players. You have to believe hard work, belief, and togetherness. That was the three things I said after Hall. That's the three things we said in Kilo. And then there's of course there's a lot of details we're working at, but that's the thing we need to to get up. Mm -hmm. Have you been having conversations with the board? I mean, obviously about this run, about how you're going to make sure that you you turn things around. No, no, not more than than usual. There's a normal conversation with the co-directors mm -hmm. of football and normal conversation with uh, with Matthew. So uh, that is uh, straightforward. We know what we want to do to get out of it and what we're working on, so no, mm, just yeah. continue. And I suppose this period gives you a, 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 an opportunity to build some momentum. I mean, the tough mm. games coming mm. up, but so many games in a short space of time can allow for some mm. momentum to, to, to build up. Mm. Yeah, definitely, but I think a very, very, very important thing is one game at a time, mm -hmm. one training at a time, that's the most important thing for us. And then build that momentum. Mm. Do you have to plan for this period though because obviously you know training periods are, are reduced aren't they so do, do, are you looking at the squad who suits which game mm. more than other games? <clears throat> we definitely need to use the squad we definitely need to use uh, the quality in the squad and the depth in the squad to um, to uh, to make some rotation during there will, there will not be the same lineup for four games that's impossible because we need uh, more freshness in, in, in some games and, uh, as you said, different qualities for some games. Uh, and what's the situation with the squad as far as players are concerned? Are you um, virtually full, full, full strength? In more, Lewis McLeod and Emiliano McContest are out. Yep. They're the only two. Uh, the rest are um, at fit. Yeah, <laughs> and I suppose with, with the game time that some of these players who have been out have now been able to get, you know, we spoke to Alan Judge last week, I suppose Rico is, the more games they play, the fitter and sharper they get. Oh yeah, definitely. I said uh, last, uh, I think it was last week before Hull, I think now everybody can compete for um, a starting position of the ones who are available. And that's good news compared to what we were struggling with uh, three, four weeks ago. Mm. Um, so that's uh, that's a good news. Mm. Just finally, from a personal point of view, obviously it's, it is the Christmas period. Um, Christmas is very big in Denmark, isn't it really? There's, uh, I know November, the, uh, sorry, December the 24th is the big day, is that right? It, that's right, yeah. Yeah. So what are your plans? Are you, are you having some time off that day? Uh, yeah, that day. Um, it is uh, the, it's the Christmas night. Uh, that is the, the big night in, in Denmark. So um, actually I'm flying home to Denmark for that night and coming back the 25th. Um, and do you eat, uh, what was it, Ries Alamando? Is that? Uh, it's close, Ries Alamando. Okay, and what is that? <laughs> that is some uh, rice pudding uh, that we, of course, think are amazing, like every quality from Denmark. No, that's that's good, and um, we're looking forward to the to the Christmas dinner, and uh, especially this, you know, being together with family, and it's a it's a good night. Yeah. So, have you got a special Christmas wish for? Is it due to Ah, uh, you know, we always wish for good health, happiness to everybody, no war, but little extra present under the tree would be three points. Uh, Thomas, the supporters have asked me to ask you about two players in particular. Yeah. Henrik Dalsgaard. Yeah. Everyone very proud of him when he went off to the World Cup. As a result, didn't have as big a break as other players. Had started, I think, every single uh, championship game since, but clearly going through a difficult period. You can tell from his body language, he's not entirely happy with his own performance. What's the best thing from now? You did sub him in the second half. Is it for him to have a rest or to, to play on and try and get back into top form? It's a good question, a uh, very good question. I think uh, over a championship season, there is, it's, it's relentless, it's so tough, it's so hard, and it's about to have this extra um, energy. There's very few players who can go 46 games uh, with no break and, and having no holiday, that, 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 you know, that's just adding up. Um, so of course it's something we are thinking about in general, as we just talked about before. Uh, that some players need to rest in, in one of the four games. We can't play all of them. He's definitely one of them we're thinking, how do we use him in the best possible way? Uh, because he's an important player for us and he's been playing a, a lot of... Um, and, and putting a lot of good performance into it. It's, it's obvious for everybody that he's been struggling a little bit last couple of games. Um, so it's about finding the balance, that, but we are aware. Of course, he brings two things to it. Uh, height, uh, mm -hmm. um, particularly compared to some other people who could stand in for him. Uh, and you've always cited him as one of the leaders, I mean, he's one of your captains. So mm -hmm. are those qualities that sort of make him even more for somebody you'd like to play, but you need to rest as well? Yeah, I mean, I mean it's, you know, it's about making that combination right with the starting 11. Uh, of course, uh, yes, him and Romain are the two captains, 
but there they are others that will step up or, and can step up uh, on the leadership. And if we don't have him with the height, then we need to get around that uh, and see what we can do um, if we decide not to not to start him uh, in one of the games. Um, so we, we will manage uh, good players in the squad. Okay, the other player that people want to ask about is Josh Clark. Now, obviously with uh, Henrik playing pretty much every game, Josh has had one substitute appearance and two League Cup games mm -hmm. compared to seasons where he was getting, he was never a, a regular starter, but he was getting uh, you know, enough games to, to stay uh, in contention. He doesn't seem to be in contention. Though. No, there's various reasons. He just became a father um, two weeks ago. So it was a, a spell there that, that um, how can you say, um, not that he, but he, you know, there was some situation. Of course, he needed to go to the to the do and, uh, and where the, the chai came, and um, he had some some weeks where he struggled a little bit with uh, everything around to be a father. Uh, but he's back on on top training now, and and a player that we can use if we find it necessary. Um, but I also think this year, um, Mo uh, Moses have been come into you know the competition just been harder. Uh, so where he normally have been playing minutes, Moses have been taking those minutes from him um, this season so far. But it's a long season and I think we need everybody and especially we just talked about the, the next uh, period with four games, we need to use the, the full squad.